Hey everyone, so I have a haul today. Um, it is my first large purchase from Mod Cloth, and previously, I think I have uh, two, two separate um, clothing items from them, and so far, one of them I'm really impressed with, one of them I'm not. So, I guess we'll just have to, we'll have to see with these. But I'm just gonna hop right into the haul. Altogether, this cost about $197, which, looking back on it now, being now a boy college student versus when I bought it when I lived at home, that's how long it took to ship. It took forever to ship. Oh my goodness. It, how long have I been here? Two weeks? It took two weeks to ship. Two weeks. That is ridiculous. I think I ordered it the day before I left. The first one is this, um... Red, oh, oh, dropping things, is this red and navy sleeveless shirt and with silver and navy buttons on them with a fitted waist and a little flare at the bottom. I really wanted to get this because it fits a monologue I will be doing soon for my acting class, so I wanted to get this so it could, it could go along with everything and that would be That'll be nice. And the scoop doesn't go down too far. I think it'll go to like right about here. And so that will be nice and modest for on stage. The material is t-shirty and really thick. Like this is a really thick tank top. So I'm actually really excited to have this rather than just being a little thin flimsy thing. So yeah. I like this. It reminded me of a sailor, so that's why one of the reasons why I got it. All right, moving on. Next one I received, by received I mean ordered and now own in my possession, is this mustard yellow cardigan. It's coming off much brighter on camera than it is in real life. It's coming off more neon on camera, and it's not neon at all. So here's this. As you can see, it has buttons on both sides. Let's see if you can see this. It has buttons on both sides, so it doesn't actually button, but that doesn't really, that's not really a big deal with me. Um, it has black lining throughout the front of it. And on the buttons, it's not going to show up on camera, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, oh, there we go. If I catch the light, it has like that little, oh goodness, a crest. Um, it's not a crest for anything that I know of. It just has a little crest on all the buttons. Um, the material is actually thinner than that tank top, but it's it's a knit. And it's definitely a knit material, a sweater. Sweaters I've owned previously are the same as this. So yeah. Um... <laughs> Well, I think I'll be wearing the tank top more into uh, winter than this one. Mostly because of the thickness of it. That's so weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in here. My next purchase, which I am thoroughly enjoying, just the look of it, is this emerald green long skirt. It's not really that long. It's more about length. But on the model on the website, it flowed a lot and was really nice. Um, so I hope it does the same on me, and it came with this tie to be made into a bow tie around the waist. On the website, it looked like that the bow was attached, so when it came not attached, it's, it's a little scary because I can't make good bows. I don't know what's going on out there. I can't make a good bow, so we'll have to see if I can do it once in my life. That'd be nice. Um, this material is sort of like, I call it armpit sweat catchers, because whenever you sweat, it shows it really, really bad, and it just like clings to it. That's what I would call this material, but since it's a skirt and won't be around my... Somebody texted me. Just a bunch of crazy things are going on in this video. Since this won't be around my armpits, since it's a skirt, I'm not, it's not really that big of a deal. Compared to this next item I bought, 
Here it is. It's oh, it's showing up blue. Oh, it's so pretty in real life. Is this royal purple? Um, past probably about mid calf press, and I believe it's called a soda fountain dress or something like that. And it's really really popular on YouTube. Not YouTube. It's really really popular on Mall Club. They have a ton of different colors. Uh, I had just ended up going with the royal purple because a lot of my accessories and shoes and tights go with royal purple. Down the front, it has real buttons that you'll be able to attach. Its waist is rather large. Like, the waist starts up here like an empire waist, but the actual belt loops for the tie are down here. Um, just here's the tie, like the previous, the previous skirt. They're actually made by the same company. Mm. The problem with this is that it's the same material as that skirt. So this is an armpit catcher. Hopefully these armpits won't, since it's a little farther down, maybe it won't actually hit right in my armpit, which I would really like, because I don't like to show that I'm a sweaty human being. Um, but other than that, it's really going to be a very very nice dress well into winter because it is longer um and it will look good with just a cardigan over it and a pair of like short boots or something like that and this will be great for like sorority events i have to go to so it's just this really pretty dress but i'm not a fan of the fabric so that's that's a real bummer um, we'll just have to see as I wear it if it actually is an armpit spike catcher. My last thing that I bought is I have to wear I have to wear black to certain events for my sorority. Stop texting me. I have to wear black to certain events for my sorority and I really, really, really hated my blacks. So, oh god, oh god, let's see if I can get it better. But it's this halter neck black dress with um I don't think it's really deeply cut but it is a cut v-neck with the frills that go down into a v as well and then it goes to about I think it will be a third of the way down my thighs so that will be interesting to see if I need to wear tights with this and if the halter is too low I'll just wear a black tank top with it and then of course black pumps because those are the only black shoes I own. I don't own a lot of black. So yeah, uh, this is, just feels like dress material, like normal dress material. So overall, I'm really impressed with my purchase. Overall, I like everything. Um, there's a few flaws that I see with it, such as like the material of the soda fountain dress was, um, it feels cheap. It feels really cheap. Um, I'll have to see if it actually is cheap because I did spend about $40 on it, and I know that's not a whole lot to some of you, but like people like me where your budget per week is $40, I threw a lot of money into a couple of clothes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see any of these pieces on me, they will soon be featured in Outfits of the Day, so don't, don't feel like I'm jipping you out of seeing me in some pretty clothes. So I'll talk to you all later. Um, subscribe, because Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your aunts, dogs, uncles, I don't care who you tell. As soon as I hit 150 subscribers, a new giveaway will be posted and it will be exciting and fun. And I have finally figured out what it's going to be, so it's a big, big, big secret. So subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all. Bye.